All right, we're here at R&D Dino in Gardena. If you guys haven't seen the Corolla Dino video that I did in the past, this is where I used to base my program out of back in 2007. So um, I've been on this dyno way back in 07 when I had my 300 horsepower S13. And now I'm coming back with a 730 horsepower Lamar powered uh, Mark V Supra. So pretty cool to uh, kind of circle back here and do this. And uh, we're just getting it dialed in, heating the coolant. Uh, just put Mobile One in it, uh, heating the oil. And John Reed is getting uh, busy on the laptop, so uh, we should be fired up here in the next 30 minutes. Let's do it. I got earplugs in and the headphones on just so John and I can talk, but honestly, it's pretty, it's like I can still hear the car pretty well, but it, 
I can't hear it openly, and it seems like it is absolutely freaking insane on the outside of the car. John is pretty much done with uh, tuning. We're just gonna go bang through a bunch of gears real quick and just see how it feels uh, that way. So uh, first through sixth, this next hit is gonna be pretty intense. here at R&D Dyno, this thing sounds way beyond anything I could have imagined, especially under load. Right when it hits about 7,000, it just opens up and starts screaming like an old Formula One car, which is uh, exactly what I was hoping for. So, uh, just so many emotions and extremely happy. Uh, a couple more issues, so I'm actually really glad we came here before going straight to the track, so we can clear up those, uh, those, those few issues that we have, and then hopefully go out and have an awesome test session. Uh, if you didn't see, if we didn't get the dyno graph, it did make 630 horse, wheel horsepower, which is uh, right around what we expected, maybe a little bit more. Um, but uh, if the butt dyno, the butt dyno is reading more than that. So we'll see how it feels when we get on, when we get on track and actually tear through the gears in this thing. But that last hit, just going through all the gears at over 10,000 RPM, felt absolutely freaking unbelievable. So I can't wait to do that on the actual racetrack and put this thing to the real test. So uh, anyway, big thanks to John Reed Racing for coming down, making time in his schedule to come tune this thing. Um, my crew chief, Brian Hartsock from Hartsock Motorsports, and, uh, and of course, Dominic, Gordon behind the camera today, and uh, all the boys that came down from Papadakis Racing to help us out today. Every, everybody, uh, you know, we've been here pretty much all day going through all the little issues, and uh, it all worked out, so stoked. Next stop is SEMA, and now we're gonna hit the racetrack. So uh, see you guys in the next episode.